Hi, this is Erne from Modeler. Thank you for joining us in this video in which I'll explain you what 3D zoning is and why we believe it is beneficial for urban planners and designers to integrate it in their workflow. So let's start by asking Google what zoning is. I'll go here and maybe put in some images. We instantly see that this is about maps that define the uses in, in the, our cities. Now, besides defining just the uses, the, the zoning also defines other rules, such as building heights uh, and other regulations that need to be uh, obeyed when we design our cities. Now, let me head over here to Urbinfo, which is the zoning of, which shows the zoning of city of Ljubljana. Uh, we can see that we have these standard colors for the land uses, yellows representing uh, residential areas, reds are the service areas, and so on. So, And then when I click on this one, uh, it shows me some additional information. So I can see that FAR, uh, FAR is not defined here. We have the site coverage 40%. We have up to 14 uh, meters height allowance and so on. So these are the rules of, of, the, uh, of this city block. And I can also click this one to show me some additional information. And actually, this is the, the official zoning ordinance of the city, defining all of the rules of what can be built in the city and how we can do it. Of course, this is, this is uh, quite uh, complicated and uh, hard to understand, especially just checking all those numbers and everything, keeping it in mind while designing. So that's why we have created interactive 3D zoning. The intent of interactive 3D zoning is to actually convert these rules of, of the zoning ordinance into an interactive 3D solution space, meaning that we take the rules of the zoning ordinance and make them instantly usable in the 3D application where we actually design new developments. So before showing you how it actually works, uh, let's also see what the, 3D, what the zoning actually means in practice. What, what it does is it actually creates this kind of envelopes that define the limits within which somebody can build new buildings. So if the buildings exceed those envelopes, uh, they are not allowed to be built. So the designers need to make sure that all the new development that they are designing fits within these uh, somehow invisible envelopes of the city blocks. Now, what we have done in Modeler is, let me go here to this one. We have created a system that can, can uh, add these rules of the city block to the actual objects here in, in SketchUp, in Modeler, in a way that when we move the building from one area to another, those buildings adapt to the local rules of the parcels instantly, instead of requiring user to always adapt it them, themselves. So this way, we can quite easily just move the buildings around and the system will uh, adapt the building according to the to the zoning ordinance of the city or of the specific city blocks. Now, the way we can create these city blocks is either by hand, which is uh, maybe the most time consuming, but it can be done. So in here, you can see that these city blocks have different rules that govern how the buildings will adapt. And if the building uh, still exceeds some of the zoning rules, like this one now, you can see that the city block warns the user about that also. So uh, if in this case, the permitted FAR, which is already defined by the zoning ordinance is exceeded, the user will instantly be notified about that. This way, it is a lot easier to design and not just easier, it is also a lot quicker and more transparent as anyone can quickly see what the rules or how the rules of the zoning ordinance actually convert to the 3D environment. 
Now, we have also, together with this, we have also done uh, testing of the interactive 3D zoning method and uh, the technology. So, what we did is we had a workshop with uh, 20 participants where they were required to design new development. And as you can see here, each one of them came up uh, with a different solution for the same development area, but all of the solutions were actually uh, within the rules of the zoning ordinance. So maybe the key benefit here is that using the interactive 3D zoning, we increase the transparency or understanding of the zoning ordinance significantly. This is uh, part of the poll that we made when we where we asked the uh, people that are usually uh, part of the planning process or urban design process, so the, the professionals that actually work in practice when it comes to uh, creating new developments, how they found the interactive 3D zoning compared to the standard zoning in terms of the transparency. And the, this test proved that using this uh, interactive 3D zoning technology uh, this can be this transparency and understanding can be increased significantly. At the same time, uh, we have also proved that using interactive 3D zoning, the design part of the work can be done a lot faster. So, uh, in this case, it was about one third of the time, uh, and this was like four years ago. So today, uh, we can safely assume that the that the speed up compared to the traditional modeling where somebody needs to remember the rules of the uh, city blocks and just model everything uh, by hand it's the the speed up is about three to five times faster at the same time the users also have a lot higher level of control over what they are designing in this case we were testing the uh, far so uh, the, the task was to achieve FAR 1.5, and as you can see, when the users needed to, to keep in mind the, the rules of the city and also calculate the numbers by hand, uh, they had a very hard time to getting it right, as you can see here in this blue line, right? While when they were using the interactive 3D zoning, almost all of them had no problem of getting it right where it needs to be. Um, the last thing that we also did in this test was to check how the interactive 3D zoning influences the quality or if it does the, uh, influence the quality of the final design. And what we have seen is that actually the, the method and the technology of interactive 3D zoning actually doesn't affect the, the design quality nor for the better, nor for the worse. So in the end, the, the final results, uh, those that we can see here, are still pretty much dependent on the uh, users, their experience and their talent. So we believe that using this interactive 3D zoning, um, we can actually improve the way that planning and design, urban planning and urban design disciplines uh, work together because today uh, planning is one discipline, design, urban design is another one and they are not really connected. So the key idea behind interactive 3D zoning is to connect directly urban planning to urban design by creating this interactive 3D solution space that where the users can actually work directly inside the rules of the city. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining us and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.